Hey guys, this is Max from Pure Power Solar, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Goal Zero 200X. This just came out by Goal Zero, and I just got one of these. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to do an unboxing for you. So the details of the Goal Zero include um, pretty much this is the reincarnation of the um, 150 the Goal Zero Yeti 150 and so this is what it looks like basically with this model it's a lot lighter it's uh, more powerful than the 150 which came out a while back it was one of the first Goal Zeros that actually came out so yeah this is the second version of it so I'll go ahead and unbox this for you so this came out I want to say a few months ago so there's only about one review out right now on YouTube so I just thought I'd go ahead and make this for you I have an article below that also talks more in depth about it but I just want to make sure you guys see what I'm seeing here and so if you like these go and pick one up below there you go all right I have the user guide Yeah, so pretty much it's in a bunch of different languages, but something to note here, once you get it, you can get a free extended warranty with Goal Zero. Looks like you get an extra year of protection. Don't know if you could see that. But yeah, basically in here just shows you how to you know do everything. But um, another important thing to note is that on the website, it says like for the 200x it says that it has a um, mpp t charge controller but in the actual user manual which i printed out and read it before it says that it comes with a pw pwm charge controller so i'm not sure which one it comes with so um, that'll be something that goes zero will definitely clarify later on so first here we have the accessory cables Let's go ahead and open this up. So this is the connector that connects into probably this one, which is probably the brick. Yep. So all you do is connect this and then this will connect into the back of the 200X. So the 200X, it actually has 187 watt hours of peak capacity. Now that changes with the inverter. So if you're connecting it to the AC, it'll be different. Different meaning it'll be a lot, a, a little bit less of 187 watt hours uh, when you go and uh, charge or use the AC port. So this is what it looks like in the front. Pretty cool. There's the input where you put this connector. You can see the blue rings help distinguish that. And so you're also going to put any Goal Zero solar panel inputs in here too. Now Goal Zero has their own type of um, uh, connector here so um, you're gonna have to use their solar panels excuse me or modify it uh, modify a cable to uh, connect like a Renogy or a different solar panel and then um, you can go from there I think Will Prouse has a few videos um, on that I'm not sure if he has one about the Go Zero panel connectors but you might be able to find something there or just do it yourself if you know how to do it but I do not recommend that recommend um, uh, doing your best research for that and so uh, yeah so here you got a nice sturdy handle looks like it's a hard plastic and um, I'm not sure if this is aluminum or not but um, it's pretty solid just from feeling it and so here we have the different ports here so you have the car port 
And all you have to do is turn on these and it should light up. So you get the battery indicator there showing you how much battery is left. So I should go and plug that in pretty soon. But if you're wanting to use this port with any of these connectors, you would go ahead and click that to turn on the, um, the connector or the inverter, I believe, to get this going. So you turn that off when you're not using it. Same thing with the USBs here and then the AC. So there you go here. So the USB here, you could see that there's a 2.4 amp um, USB. It's another one here. And um, you have a 18 watt, it looks like a USB-C, and then this one is also a USB-C, but this one has the 60 watt uh, in and out. So you could put it in for the input or the output. And yeah, and then the AC inverter or the AC port has 120 watts of total power. So if you go over that, if you have a device that's pulling, not a device, but more like a uh, maybe a fan or, or something that pulls like 125 watts, it's not going to work if you use it for a long period of time. The surge power for the AC port is um, equivalent to 200 watts, but that's for a quick surge. So you're not looking to use that for like, I don't even know if you could use it for a whole minute, but um, it's there if you need to do like a do something quick for uh, 200 watts of surge power. So I don't know a good example of that, but um, if you want something to be continuous with this port, use something that's 120 watts or preferably a little lower than that so you can run it consistently throughout the day. And so we have the fan here on the bottom here. It looks like it talks about the tech specifications. So the battery is a lithium ion NMC battery. That's different from the Yeti 150, which used a lead acid battery. And so that's one of the main reasons why this is a lot lighter is because of the battery. The lead acid battery was heavy. So, I mean, this thing only weighs five pounds. And so it'll be, it's really good for portability. And, uh, you know, if you're doing anything that uh, you need to lug this around, this is probably the best one or one of the best you can get. All right, and then there's just some more information there. I don't know if you wanna pause that, but uh, if you're looking for more information, it's right there. You could easily just download their user guide, which is also in my article. And that's about it for this. Nothing else in the box. So that's the Goal Zero unboxing. I'll go ahead and make a review video pretty soon about this after I test it. But if you need any more information, you can go ahead and check out anything um, in the description below. I have an email uh, newsletter that you could sign up for. I'll give you my 30 top camping items to camp with. It's a little ebook I've uh, created. And if you want anything else to be uh, reviewed on this, let me know. And just leave a comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification if you want to see more. Otherwise, let me know what you think about this. Do you have one of these? Because if you do, let me know your thoughts. And um, yeah, I'll be looking at the comments, so let me know what you guys think.